And there concludes our story of the bugs. <laughs> oh, oh, we're back. We came in our RAK's movie movies, and I'm just here to end the segments of our show. So uh, see you next. Oh, oh yes, we have a special, of course, as you. Saw that one thing from the uh, Mass Part 3 version, that one shirt and the dummy thing that we were selling. This is Commander R.E.K.'s uh, sleepwear. And it will be sold on our streets for, if you want the top, I think the tops are $39.99. And if you want the bottoms, they're $49.99. Uh, they'll be on sale tomorrow, so just come on down in front of our studios here in Naples, Florida. I think we can get them. Thank you, and see you next week. Welcome to Commander R.E.K.'s Groovy Movies. And yes, I am very excited, because we are going to have a movie that we're gonna, is going to totally knock your socks off. Yes, sir. It is the special Commander R.E.K. movie, the movie in stereo. Yes, sir. It's going to be good. Plus, today, we have The Mummy. Yes, um, let's see what else do we have here. The Hand Part. Oh, yes. We have a very good one. The Hand Part 2. And then we have a Who Done It. Yeah. That, uh, Who Done It's going to be good. It's going to be a whole lot of people doing it. And I'll be coming back. And for those of you who were watching yesterday or last week because I was, was you know, not on it most of the time, watch it now. I'll be here later on in the show. Now, R.E.K. The Movie. In Greater Downtown New York. I'm a heart sky proud to be. Body. Oh, a little piece of paper. I'm so good. Oh, who's that man up in the sky? Hello, oh, Ken. I'm a heart scout. You can't hurt me. I'm so the dumpling cow. Oh, you're a big ugly man. No, I'm a mommy. 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 I'm a I've come to get you. Mommy, mommy, I'm a heart scout. I'm a kid. I told you to die! Uh, I'm gonna kill you, kid! My heart! Oh! I'm the best! No, it has to go! Are you kidding? Secret control room.
me to finish.
What are you? What do you think about what happened to your husband today? It's horrible. Of all these years we've been together. As oh. Mrs. and Mister, I suppose. Yes, but in the end, Jackie Speed will get him. All right, we're back. As you can see, the tragedy, Jackie Speed. And, um, well, this is another part of my base, of course, the lounge. You can see my toys and other messes are all over the place. Of course, Mickey, but you can't see him. And, of course, our next movie, a special, The Mummy. Stay with us. Thank you. Boy, this should be a neat little thing to check out. This little tomb here. The ancient tomb of Paula Mazzola, that. Oftentimes, in children, if they're walking, that can lead to a fall. Now, partial seizures are subcategorized into. Present to you the mummy. Hmm, the ancient tomb of Paula Mazzola. What a freaky place. Oh my gosh, a dead spider. I wonder what's over here. Oh my gosh, there's so many icky bugs in here. Ooh, what a strange sight. What kind of rope, maybe used for communications. Oh, I can't see a thing. I wonder what this is. Huh? Whoa. Oh. Oh. Oh, disgusting, all these worms. I wonder what's in here. Legend goes, remove the wrapping from the mummy. The mummy is no more. And that is now the who done it. You know why you've all been called here? For your late Uncle Heinrich's will. Now let's get a chance to get acquainted with each of you. Psst. Mr. Workman, what do you do? Oh. <clears throat> well, I work down at uh, that one place, uh, Alfred Inc. Construction. Yeah, it's a real dump, but hey. Uh, I work with uh, 
hits. He hand axes and um, pounding sticks a lot. Yeah, well, that's all I have to say. And I'm here to put Uncle Heine's great treasures and stuff. Good. Next person. A policeman here. State your occupation. I am a policeman. I am of the 42nd Precinct. I work with the standard issue police pistol. And I'm highly trained in it. And I've been with the force for about eight years now. Thank you. Let's move on to our next person. Okay. And our next person over here, the knife thrower. State your name and occupation and any little details, please. My name is Andreas Gonzalez. I am a... I uh, throw the knives. And uh, I'm currently working at the circus in town here. You know, so come on down and see us, you know, whenever. That's well, all I have to say. That's all you have to say. That's well, right, and I want some money, too. We all do. person here is a skilled baseball player. What, state your name, please, and occupation. Yes, you, train the tobacco. Well, I'm a Major League Baseball player. I've, I'm skilled with the bats, the baseball, all the basic necessities of baseball. And I've been in the majors about two years. And that's all. Very well. Well, I will state the rules of this so-called game in a moment. Very interesting, really. All of them. But there is one person I forgot to introduce. Our chef here. I'm the chef. I cook a meals. I use a knife. Goodbye. Goodbye. One of the less important members of this game. But really now, the rules of the game are whoever stays alive by the end of the night will get the $100 million reward. out of here. Wait, where are you going? Work my I'm I've had enough of this, okay? I'm just getting out of here. Man, that stupid cop 
now I'm probably the only one left in this mansion. <laughs> Stop following my own. Hey! I you, Nico, where were you? I went to see the cook. Hey, did you kill the um, baseball player? The who? Oh, the baseball player. Yeah, we found some of your knives in him. They weren't me. I just went out to see the cook. He was very suspicious. Well, we just found a butler here with the cook's knife in him. Wait. Oh my gosh, he's gone. Who? The butler? He's got, got nailed by the knife. We gotta go find the cop. Come on. Come on! Okay, whatever you say. There are. We gotta get out of here. Oh my gosh! It's that one chef guy. Oh my gosh. Maybe. Ugh. Oh, he's dead. Come on, let's get to the other room. Come on. me. Wonder what oh what the heck? Oh gosh, finally somebody I know. I Thor. I have something to tell you about the work. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. Ah, oh, finally, that's some kind of weapon. Now, I have something to, to defend myself against the workmen. Hey, who is that? Who's at the door? It's all over. Oh, oh, oh. And we are so sorry, but of course, as you know, the movie you just saw, The Who Done It, was so long that we're not going to have time to show you the hand part two. Believe me, all you hand fans will have it in a couple weeks, so stick with us. Total Commander R.E.K. free-for-all. It's going to be three 
great Commander R.E.K. movies. With me personally, you know. And at first, we're going to have um, Commander R.E.K. versus the Green Goliath. Then Commander R.E.K. versus the, um, what's it, the Happy Hellbilly? No. The Happy Hippie. Happy Hippie, you got that one, right? Yeah. And then, of course, the natural one. We have, you know, we had to have this one, of course. It would be Commander R.A.K. versus Zoro, the Elephant Man. Or what's his name? Zoro. Oh, yeah, Zoro. Zoro the Cow. Yeah, I remember that. So, stick with us. And our first movie, which I heard, The Happy Hill Boy. Or Happy Hippie, I guess. Okay, get it right. Commander R.E.K. versus the Happy Hippie. Thanks, Mr. Green. Bing! Oh, my God, this money. <laughs> Bing! Oh, boy, more and more money. Was Green a local customer favorite? It's all over. So, our beams, 
Oh, wait, wait. Commander R.E.K. Raise the gun! And there it does it for the happy hillbilly as we take one last look for him. Wait a minute. And there concludes another episode of Commander R.E.K. The Green Goliath. In the later downtown parts of New York. Come on, children. Now I'm my first victim. <gasps> The victim. Are we case secret control room? Mmm. An interesting article on Wonder Woman here.
He is dead. <sighs> Better I'll get some cops to clean up this dump. And so ends another story of Commander R.E.K. Oh, we're back to Commander R.E.K.'s Groovy Movies. And our next movie is The Son of Zora the Cow, and he's out for revenge. I tell you, it's a really good one that I'm in personally. And I meet a new, you know, superhero that I think you're going to enjoy, even though he dies at the end. So, stay with us. side of New York. Can you give me your allowance? Come here. Uh, Electric uh, man, uh, uh, this is Zora the Death Kyle Jr. This is your first uh, Attack him and do it well. You will die. Whoa! 
Commander. All right, Doctor. How is he? He's dead. Oh, well. But I devised this special energy potion. He should be alive. includes another episode of Commander R.E.K. Yes, folks, this is a storm coming up here. As we listen to the terror and some of the people that is down stairs here, as the rain is just beginning to come. Just beginning. Let's see what's going on down here. I thought I heard screams. Oh, there's some lightning. As you can tell, this is no joke about the sky here. It is totally, completely dark. I mean, we are not kidding around here. Let's see if we can see anybody down there. It sounds like somebody's coming out of this. Oh, it sounds like it's coming from over in this direction over here. The thunder is very loud. It's like it just opened up right over our house. Some of the clouds here. And you can see this is no little storm coming up here. And as you can see over the trees, it looks kind of misty. Way, whoa, there's some lightning here. Way back there. And we'll keep you posted when it starts to pour. Which it does sound like it's going to do. Oh boy. Yes, we're hoping that this pool down here, our pool, did not get hit by lightning. Yes, it is very dark, so you might not be able to make out some of the pictures here. But as we are showing you, it is very, very freaky out here. And all of a sudden, the sky just turned totally dark. As you can even see, it gets darker over through there. But there's the sky right there, yes. Oh, lightning. I'll wait for the next thunder and then I'll turn it off. I'll take a walk down through here. Oh, wait a minute here. Something might be happening down here. Maybe not. We heard somebody's name get cried out in horrible vein here. Somewhere from down there. Who cares? But we are going in now, and we will keep you posted. Thank you. It started to come. Whoa! The wind, of course, is what's the tragedy here. As you can't really see what's going on over there, but it is pouring rain. It's, you can clearly hear. I 
minute, it's just coming off. Take a look down. Yo, you can't see anything, can you? Well, the thunder really says it all here. And that's what's really a pinky thing. I haven't heard this loud of thunder in such a long time. You can see our exit sign there. Oh, I got struck by lightning. So it was very rocky. I don't usually walk under that too much, but oh, the rain has just picked up a little bit here. And it's just coming down. And, okay, we're going to take a chance here. And we're going to... I think we're going to walk, we're going to see what, what will happen if we walk, walk, walking, walking, seems to be a, whoa, no, goodbye, we're going back this way, and the wind will pitch us on the way, but I think it's going to get much worse if you take a look at the sky, you see the rain here, and we cannot take the, um, forward, hardness of the, the rain any longer, so we had to get in. We're just kicking out some of the rain there that has accumulated. Let's take a look at the sky, which you can see. It's getting a little bit lighter over there in the areas where we could hardly see anything in the beginning. Maybe that shows some sign of improvement. Over in the distance, you can see those two lights, those are from the Highway 41, or whatever you want to call it, I think. And of course, we have one last feat for all you people. Very quickly, we'll show you my mom's Mercedes here. Whoa, a little lightning there. Let's see if you can see it all. I can't believe this. You cannot see my own Mercedes. Is that good? Oh, goodness. There might be more to come yet, but let's, for now, let's just go in, and I'll show you people around my house very quickly. For, uh, for anybody who's here, Todd, Ryan, Bobby, I don't care, any of you. We invite you into my humble abode. I guess, Who's that beautiful guy right there? All you people in Illinois, whoever else is watching this. Who is that beautiful person right there? I mean, be honest. I don't even know who that person is, but okay. As we walk out of our little walkway here. Yes, that is a football. And into our dining room, our living room area. And yes, and there's me, which you can see. Look at that muscle right there. Yes, uh, if you turn around, you can see in the reflection of the mirror, the kitchen. So there's the kitchen. And we'll give you a great view of, how about the laundry room? There's the laundry room. The laundry. The things up, oh. Some of you people know my mind also recognize this little guy right here. Oh, something happened there. There we go. And now we go back here. And there's our family room area. Yes, I'm watching Family Ties now. And my bathroom. And my bedroom. Which is now a mess because I... Ugh. <sighs> 
Isaac's husband. Honey, Cinco, I've been so worried about you. Hi, where have you been? I've been so worried about you. Oh, oh. Ah. You have betrayed me for the last time, Papaya, and now you must die. Thank you, thank you, thank you, you fool. You fool. By the way, for those of you who have come into our show late, Yes, Commander RDK has been fired. It's great, you fool. But anyway, it's great. It's absolutely tremendous. But anyway, by the way, the, la the name of the last movie was Devastator, which um, is a part of some sort of three-part series. Is that right, Dan? Three-part series? Yeah. Ten-part series? Two-part series? Oh, okay. But anyway, so anyway, we will be hol holding a contest to see who can um, deliver the most postcards to me in a two by two inch radius postcard with water. And um, please send them to 999 Duper Drive. That is 999 Duper Drive. And the person who sends the most entries in will get to perform with me on my show. So, losers that are watching the show that don't have anything better to do, please stay for our next show. It is The Geek's Revenge. And it is huh, very dumb. Oh. Oh. Junior class of 1975, oh. class 1974, Uni High. Yeah, I know what you mean, Barbara. Hey, nerd. Oh, yeah. Well, that's gonna be cool going down to that roll of yours, right? Mm. Yeah, Tim, or whatever your name is. I don't know, I've been dating other people. <laughs> Good morning, class. Morning, Mrs. Wayne. How are you today, Melvin? I'm fine, thank you. Good, good. Yes, well, today's lesson and check for his name being checked in. Now you keep to your studies while I go. Yes, Mrs. White. No, and you don't need to clean the blackboards. No, and you don't need to scrub my shoes tonight. Everything's fine. Thank you, Melvin. I'll be back soon. Just, just leave them alone and we'll stop. But son, can't you stay home? 
by yourself for just a little while. I must go to the grocery. But, they, but just Maybe. leave them alone and they'll stop. What did they want? Goodbye, son. Bye, Mom. <laughs> The next day at Uni High. Hey Jeff, you get those tests done, man? No, man, I don't take that crud from no teacher. Hey, nerd, you do your tests? Yes, I'll sit some of them. Let me see them. Let me see them. Let All me right. see them. Why? He's a police guy. Yeah, but my bully problem. Next day.
Operator? Yes, it's the operator. Um, can you give me the hotel lobby? One moment, please. Hey, Ryan, who are you calling? Oh, uh, hi, Bob, what's up there? What'd you call him, man? I'm just, I'm just calling a friend. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, see you later at lunch. Uh, okay. Operator? Yes, this is Jan speaking, hotel lobby. Uh, okay, um, give me Bruticus, will you? Uh, one moment, please. No, don't make me wait one moment. This is the manager. I'll give you a ten dollar raise if you don't. Pizza, hello. Bruticus. Yes. This is the manager. You don't sound like the manager. I'm the manager, Bruticus. Okay. Now, I have a tour for you to do. I want you to knock out Commander R E K. Okay. Uh, uh, he should be down at the lobby, changing from what he's wearing, or he might just not have changed, but he'll be down in the lobby. Uh, okay. And I don't have a special camera watching you, so if you mess up once, you're fired, Bruticus. What do I get out of this? But Well, folks, <laughs> this will be good. Particle disruptor beam should do it. This is your captain speaking. We are now about an hour and away from our final destination. Thank you. Well, 
sir. How are you doing? Oh, it's very good. Thank you. Very well. Americans. Oh. Did you get it? Flight 982, please report to gate 9. Anybody on flight 826 and 982, please report, report to gate 9. Ah, uh, Monsieur Bond, I'm Philippe, your driver. Your car is here. Oh, yes, yeah. Um, the reason see you're going to? Yes. Final boarding call for flight 982 to Boston. Transmuter machine works. Lead fingers triumphant. I have defeated the prospects of making your own wealth. I can make my wealth the cheap way. Ha ha ha. Bodyguard and slob job and his brother. Therefore, must pay. My brand new impressive I will fry you. No! 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 I 
now for conclude the story of the finger. Do 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 do. Hello, hello. Yes, I'm back here. And um, this is the end of the show, the first show I'm on. And yes, in our future shows, we will have a superhero movie, The Mercenary, The Hand Part 2, um, The Dolls, a western, a gangster movie, and um, Double O, or Triple O, 7. By the way, if any of you have ever gotten the privilege to see Hand Part 1, it is really good. Ask your nearest movie director to lend it out to you. It's a very inspiring movie, and that will be in our next week's show. So thank you very much, and goodbye, losers. Twenty years later, their hand has returned. Didn't Joe tell you? No. 
We're having this big party. Sue and Diane and Mike and everybody are coming over. I never knew about a party. Well, look, I'm going to go pick them up in my hot new red Ferrari Daytona. Oh, go ahead. They're going to be here in five minutes. You better get straightened up. Okay, just give me a little more time, okay? I'll try, but okay. you better hurry. Okay, see you in a little while. Bye. was over, everyone in the party had been wiped out by the two. The next morning. Oh, gosh. I don't want to get any sleep. Stick them out. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? Hey, what are you doing, man? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> At the end now, Bob. Ah! It's over. Who are 
you clean this room up? I don't know how to do these things. Gosh. They call them the stupid beeper now. cheap too i don't know the owner or anything but now look at this you're gonna love it it's a brand new bed look at this oh honey Okay, ready? 
Superheroes, get this punk off the air, will you? Are you today, or tonight, I should say? Yes, it is. If you did not see that, it is 101 tonight. Um, that is AM. Yes, you are probably asleep right now. We are wide awake making the things happen. Our next movie, however, is one you will love completely. It's one of the best movies in the world. It is The Dolls. Yeah. And The dolls. Mom, did you win your tennis game? No, Mom, I lost my tennis game. I'm sick of losing. I'm sick of losing. I'm tired of losing. Morning. p.m. Man, I wish my mom would get home from that stupid dinner party. Gosh, she's always out. She never has enough time for me. Might as well watch TV. Oh, 
to docking A. Please report to docking bay A. Attention, attention please. Would engineer Emilio rest of us please report to dock A. Thank you. to navigator, navigator Jacob Smith. Please report to docking bay A. Jacob Smith, please report to docking A bay A. Attention, attention please, would the captain by the name Jacob Smith please report to get a please. Thank you. I repeat, will the captain Jacob Smith please report to get a thank you. Correction, please. Will the captain of Gerald Kreit please report to get A, please? Attention, please. <laughs> Would Max please report to docking bay A? Would Max please report to docking bay A? Thank you. Yeah. 
all passengers and all crew, please prepare for takeoff on the Panther ZX-100 on scout mission. Over. Minus three. T minus two. T minus one. Blast off. Yeah, so the main objective would be to land over here. At present time, we are right here. Our destination is here. And in approximately one hour's time, we will move from here all the way to here. I would like um, Group A with Emilio and um, Jacob to scout the area as we land here, which will be in about three hours. I want them to be fully armed and have all prospects of what they could be going up against. So, be prepared. That is all for now. Thank you. Of course, the navigator, you gotta put it on an APB set. Uh. <laughs> yes, uh, radio the tower, please. Captain. Tracking device on. Yes, pilot. Just come here, please. Hold on. Yeah, take it, take an APB on it, yeah. Yes, pilot. We will be reaching our destination of landing on the planet in about three minutes, so please prepare everybody for crash landing. The crash landing? Crash landing. Exactly what part of the um, newly discovered planet will we land on? Well, Just to so correct you, sir, this planet is not going to be discovered. That's what I said. I'm just well, yeah. no, I'm going to Oh, well, yes. But anyway, I would like a full APB on the planet and um, just take it up to me as soon as we land. Okay, please prepare everybody for landing. Yes, uh, give me a stat on that, Jacob. Yeah. Okay. Just now.
Oh my god. What is it? Oh, the, the navigator. The navigator is dead. What big, happened to him? There's this big alien out there. The, oh, alien? The big alien. Alien? The alien. Oh, A P Q R A N. Alien. Oh god. Okay. The, okay, go tell the rest of the crew, okay? Function in the ion fusion engine. There it is. It's a valve right here. Escape. 
And so, the brave traveler goes home, the last survivor of this crew. That's fine, but go ahead and do it now. Yeah. Okay, I'll see. 
do that for a moment. Just inform me as soon as you're done. Yes, sir. Call Captain Tom Smith. I haven't been in yet. No, I haven't. Uh, okay, I'll call you when I get it. Attention, please. Roll call, Captain Tom Smith. Yo, here. Roll call, Engineer Emilio Estevez. Uh, here. Roll call, Pilot Simon Trunk. Here. Intelligence Officer yeah. Drake Edwards. Present. Did, I didn't know. Ship number two. Roll call, Marine Leader. Here. 30 Marines. Here on Connor 4. Over and up. Thank you. Uh, Captain? Oh, yes, how are you? I'm fine. I'm Drake Everest. Uh-huh. Uh, Tom Smith. Yes, Tom Smith. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, so, um, this is your first mission. First mission of this planet, sir. Yeah, well, this planet's kind of rough. We'll, we'll probably have some turbulence getting in. I suggest you come up. Okay, this is the planet, right? Mm-hmm. We're here right now. Okay. We're going to go there, right? Yes. Okay, I suggest you come up through here. That's fine, but um, I want you to go down to the pilot and tell him that we need extra um, fuel. Just I was to going to do that, sir. Okay, go ahead, dismissed. Okay, that's what I'm going to say. Yes. No, I do not have it yet, I'm telling you. For colonizing ship Scorpion, ready for takeoff. T minus two, T minus one, blast off. <laughs> Spaceship for the Marines. Excelsior, prepare for takeoff. T minus two. T minus one. Blast off. I'm ready. I'm ready. The Hawaiian Marine never forget the dream. All right, man. Far out. Listen up, man. We're going on this mission, and we're going to be tough. We're not the best Marine time for nothing. All right, now listen up. This is your issued rifle for this mission. Standard case of ammunition, silence nozzle, full power trigger, extra protection for kickback, extra ammunition, full power, one grit, a multi-grenade launcher, and possible planes or if necessary. Any questions? Yeah, I got one. You better be good when you listen, man. But you Hawaii boy. I don't like you. Are you trouble kind. talking because you're from New York? But I just confuse it, man. I don't really like you kind. You have me to act right. Look, I got a question, Blood. What is it? When are we gonna land? I mean, gosh, I'm getting sick of listening to you. I have no idea, sir. You better not do that lip to me, boy. Yeah. I mean it, boy. This is the pilot. Please secure all seats. We are preparing for landing. Pilot landing here. I want you to call up the marine ship and remind them I want that first sector one to be let go as soon as we land in the escape pod. Squadron one, sir, right? Yes. Okay. okay. Just remind them that over the loudspeaker for that. Marine ship, marine ship, come on over. Yeah, this is marine ship. Please send out Squadron One to investigate the entrance way to this colony. Over. Very well out. Landing here up. The landing surface of this plane is very hard, Captain. Be careful for a harsh landing. Very well.